How can iron therapy play a role in head eczema or eczema in general? I'm going to share with you a paper on that today. Hi, my name is Abby. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist and I'm the founder of the Eczema Podcast and Eczema Conquerors as well, where we share free resources for you to help your skin get better. I want to share about how iron can play a role, especially if you have rashes on your hands or anywhere else on your body actually. But specifically, this paper is talking about it if you have it on your hands. If you don't know already, one of the causes of eczema on your hands can actually be due to nickel. I actually have a few clients who react to nickel-based foods. So any foods high in nickel, they react to. Often when we ask them to go on a lower nickel diet, they do find that it helps their skin. But I want to share one interesting paper with you because it further supports this and I want to introduce to you iron. I just grabbed my phone so that I could look at it and read it to you as we go along. But the paper is called Iron Therapy in Hand Eczema, a new approach for management. It basically shares that the first line of the extract says, it is observed that adequate iron intake and status can limit nickel absorption from the diet in human body. Chronic vesicular hand eczema due to nickel sensitivity is a common dermatological condition where the dietary nickel acts as a provocating factor. Patients who are experiencing this are usually treated with a low nickel diet. And so this present study was conducted to observe if adding in oral iron with low nickel diet to treat hand eczema would help it. They took different patients who had a history of hand eczema and in this study, a few of them were advised to have the um, oral iron paired with the no low nickel diet for 12 weeks. And then they had a control group where they were advised to have low nickel diet alone for period of 12 weeks. So that was low nickel alone with no iron and then the other group with low nickel diet with oral iron. So they noticed fast improvements in skin lesions of the study group patients. 83.33% of the patients had complete clearance of their hand eczema at the end of 12 weeks. They saw significant reduction in the blood level of nickel in those patients. Now, moderate improvement was noted in the skin lesions of those in the control group. The control group was only the low nickel diet. Five, which is 45% of their patients, showed complete clearance of hand eczema at the end of the 12 weeks. It showed that oral iron helped to reduce nickel absorption from the diet. And it showed that a combination of low nickel diet and oral iron helped to bring a faster reduction in the severity of the clinical symptoms. And now just to preface this, this is for those who had a nickel sensitivity. It's so interesting because we do also have many clients who, are, who have low iron. I would say that in working with many clients on a daily basis who suffer from eczema or topical steroid withdrawal, I would say that at least 30% of our clients have some sort of iron deficiency and a lot of times it can't be spotted from just the one marker of iron on a blood test. We usually ask for the full panel, which is the four different markers. If, they, if we find that they have cold hands, cold feet, or they're tired often, or they have heavy menstrual periods, we find that the iron is actually one of the big causes for why some of our clients flare. And actually low iron can be tied to the dry skin and we've had many clients who have gotten better by taking iron. And actually, anecdotally, I have also had people who are not our clients who have shared similar stories as well. 
one person shared with me that she had eyelid eczema and her doctor gave her 300 milligrams of iron to take because she was so low in iron and she started taking the iron and her eyelid eczema cleared up. I just wanted to share that with you but iron has been shown to help with the skin. I've also heard of people who have gotten iron transfusions because their their blood levels were so low in iron and their skin got a lot better. Also another thing to add why iron can be helpful is that because it helps ensure that your blood has enough oxygen to carry around your body and to deliver nutrients around your body that's one reason why it can be so helpful in just really helping to make sure that your body has adequate nutrients and oxygen to circulate around and deliver nutrients everywhere. So that's also one reason why we find that it helps our clients and they have more energy when they take it, less brain fog, less tired, and less dry skin as well. So I hope that information really helps you. I wanted to share that with you because it's just such a great way and a novel approach where it really shows that looking at nutrient deficiencies are also very important in helping the skin get better. If you're interested in learning more or if you want some guidance on your healing journey, you're welcome to book a complimentary breakthrough call with one of the eczema advisors on my team. And I love looking at the latest research and sharing it too. So even with our clients, we apply that knowledge to our clients and we've had such great success rate in helping them get better. And I really hope that this was able to help you. Thank you so much for listening today. And I hope you have a great day. You can book the breakthrough call in the link in the description. And have a wonderful day.